I did it. I finally found a good example for mixins in Python and I'm going to show it to you. Look at this class diagram. Class rectangle and class circle inherit from class shape. Let me show you the code in Python. Base class shape takes and stores x and y. I inherit rectangle and circle from it. Notice that both subclasses call super init. If you want to learn more about super, go watch my video on that. Here is the class diagram of the code. What you see here is single inheritance. Rectangle and circle share data attributes x and y and are defined in the shape base class. Now I add more behavior. Each shape should be able to serialize their data attributes. If all shapes have this functionality, I can define it in the shape base class. Let me show you. I add a serialize method to the shape base class. I create two shapes and test if it works. Yes, that works. The serialize method serializes the class dictionary attributes to a string. But there are two problems. First of all, the shape class now shares shape information and serialize functionality. The class has more than one responsibility and this violates the single responsibility principle. And there is another problem. What if I add more classes that also needs to implement the serialize method? Now there is duplicate code. What could be a solution? I could use inheritance again. Class shape and class text both inherit from base class serializable. I can do this because in this example I have full control over the system. Each time classes are added, I'm able to move the serializable class up in the hierarchy. But you have to ask yourself if this is good design. What started as a small addition to one class now affects the whole system from top to bottom. And what if the top class of a system is sealed and I'm not even allowed to change what it inherits from? What are my options here? I could allow the duplicate code. I can inject a serializer when I instantiate shapes. And I can probably think of more things to do. And one of them is to use mixins. Here are classes rectangle and circle again. Here is a mixin class. There is nothing special about this class except that on its own it has no purpose. Perhaps it cannot even work on its own. It needs to be mixed in with another class. Once it gets mixed in another class, it adds functionality to that class. So how does it work? To make this example easier, I delete the text classes from the system. I also cut the connection between serializable and shape. The serializable class will be the mixin. Let me show you the code. I put the serialize method into its own class. Notice that the serializer class has no purpose on its own. So how do I mix it in the rectangle and circle class? Python does not have a mixin keyword, but uses multiple inheritance for this. Rectangle now inherits from both shape and serializer. I do the same for circle and test the system. Everything still works. At this point you probably think, wait, that's it? If that is a mixin, then what is the difference between mixins and multiple inheritance? And the answer is, a mixin is a class with the single purpose to add functionality to other classes. Multiple inheritance is used to achieve mixins in Python. And that's all for this video. For more Python tutorials, click one of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.